So this is Optimus Prime. It's a large Prime, bigger than MP01, bigger than Lego Prime, and it does this. Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. Truck. This is Robosun Optimus Prime, and a massive, massive thank you to Robosun for sending this my way. They provided me with this massive, expensive robot, and I love it. Definitely go check them out. Links in the description below. This thing is back up for sale in a lot of places, so if you want one, go grab it. Thank you so, so much for sending this my way. I still, I still can't believe it. Now, this is an expensive premium product. You would expect every aspect of this to be premium right down to the unboxing experience. And they did that. This unboxing was so much fun. And it reminded me a lot of opening like a Google or Apple product. The way that they did the foam casing, the foam inside of that, the way that the boxes are packaged, it's it's really nice. This is going to be very difficult to do with one hand. Ah! ah. Always cut away from yourself. Don't do what I'm doing. Holy moly. All right, that's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. We got what the the voice control stuff on the side, on the side the customs has been in here. On the side of the box, you got the Autobot symbol. On the side, it says Transformers. The delivery man handed this to me and went, "Is this an Optimus Prime?" And I went, "Yes." And he's like, "Ooh!" So he knew what this was. That was satisfying. Oh, you get this like military case. What the? Okay, we unlatch that. Unlatch this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's on a hinge. What the? Okay, what is all this? Cables and stuff. The user manual. The charging cord. Whoa. Oh, this feels really nice. It also comes with stickers like an Apple product, which I find equally as funny. So, first off, the size. It's a large boy. He dwarfs almost every modern size class minus Titan. Like, it's massive. I really like the finish on this guy. The brushed metal looks outstanding and it feels extremely durable. Like, this guy has taken a tumble about four times while I was trying to program something extremely elite into him and he doesn't have a scratch. The amount of detail here for what you get is pretty good. The trans orange on the hips, I like. The chromed out grill is just nice. The gold triangles, it all just works. Every part of G1 Prime that I usually want in a G1 Prime figure is present and it's super pleasing. One little detail I'm extremely happy that they included was the wrist radios. You get one with Bumblebee, which makes sense, and one with Megatron, which probably makes sense from an episode of G1. I don't know, I haven't seen the show in a while, but it's still cool that he has the little wrist radios. If you notice throughout this whole video so far, he's had this breathing animation. I find that a bit weird because he's a robot with a breathing animation because robots don't have lungs. It, I do wish you could switch that off, but eh, at least it's still in motion, so it's cool to watch. It just doesn't make much sense to me. I adore the head sculpt. It's simple, but it pulls off the look and just fits with the rest of the body so well. I really wish it rotated though, left to right. It doesn't because of all the wires and electronics in there, but I kind of wish it could go maybe 45 degrees in each way, just to be a little bit more expressive. Would have been nice. The proportions are pretty bang on for what he is. The bottom legs are a bit chunky, but that's not horrible in the slightest. They have to be so that a lot of his weight is contained at the bottom, so it doesn't fall. I do wish the hands could open, but that may have been an issue with the accessories in motion, so I get it. That and if you transformed it while forgetting that the hands were open, you could potentially break it. So I get why they don't open. Now he comes with a gun that lights up by pulling the little stock back, which is really nice. And it's kind of bright. I was able to use it as a flashlight once when I lost my uh, phone. And an ax. They peg into the hand super solidly, sometimes a little too solid. Just be careful with the ax. It's a bit tight, but the clear plastic the ax is made from feels really nice. He also comes with a charging cable that goes in his ass. Why? Why would you pick? All right, whatever. I, I bet RoboSan was just trying to be funny. His smokestacks are packed separately and you get a micro USB cable in 2022. That does annoy me a lot because USB-C has been popular since 2016 and here we are stuck with micro USB. Now articulation is something you don't get, but he articulates himself. So that's even better. He has idle animations too, where he just starts dabbing, which is funny. 
there are a bunch of pre-programmed voice commands that allow you to get him to do certain things. In the manual, there's a list of them. So I'll run you through some of my favorites and a couple of them so you can see how articulating this toy actually works. So quickly before I do the, the commands part, I'm gonna be going I'm gonna be going back and forth, by the way, uh, audio wise, because I'm still only using the, the mic on my camera. But you're paying a lot for this thing. Even the friggin' manuals made out of such high quality material. It's awesome. Anyways, I'm not gonna run you through all of the where are they? Where are they? Here they are. I'm not gonna run you through all the voice clips because there's a lot. But I'm gonna stand over here for a bit. Move out of the way, chair. Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. There is an auto turnaround thing you can do, but I haven't turned that on. So we're gonna just spin him. He's got rubber on his feet, so I don't feel like I'm gonna scratch him, which is really nice. All right, let's do... Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Honor. I love how he plays music. Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Freedom. Freedom is the right of all There's one where he says a line from Revenge of the Fallen. Which one's that? Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Calling. That's the one. It works better with the axe, obviously, because he needs the axe in his hand, but he says a line from Revenge of the Fallen. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Megatron. Megatron must be stopped. What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? What was the whole fist thing in the air? Uh, it's like he was angry. Oh, okay. This one's kind of sad. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Are we friends? He says we're friends, I have friends now, yay. Now for his transformation, you don't have any steps to go through. You simply say the phrase and he will just go for it. I gotta move it all the way back here for this. Hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. Move this to be. Transform. <laughs> All right, let's try doing the transformation without him falling off the desk. I'm gonna move down to the basement again. We're gonna do the floor. I'm actually gonna spin him around manually because again, I don't have the thing turned on where he turns himself around by himself. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. I mean, how cool is that? He even starts his own damn engine. Actually, I lied. There are some steps. You have to fold out the gas tanks on the side and fold out the mirrors. Now, when I did that at first, it was nuts. And then I showed my family and my dog. And they too were like, wow. Even Ruby even brought her toy to hang out with Optimus. Have a look. I'm not showing you face. Ruby. Hey, Optimus. <laughs> hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. That is cool. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, Optimus Prime. Oh, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby brought her toy for Optimus. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Who are you? I am Optimus Prime. Wow. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Walk forward. Let's go. What? Let's go. <laughs> Walk is awesome. Ruby doesn't seem that bothered by it. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. 
transform. And Ruby doesn't care. <laughs> the truck has a lot of the same details as the robot, but I love how shiny the new bumper is. And I don't know how the trailer is going to hitch onto there, but I am curious to see how that's going to work. Also, to give you a sense of scale, here's Lego Prime, MP01, Earthrise Prime, and a couple other figures. It's large. Now, one of the main features of this is you have an app. You can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, and it opens with this animation every time. Kinda wish you could skip it because it does get annoying every time you have to reopen the app for certain things. The app has a wealth of features and it even shows the trailer and roller, so they are definitely coming soon. But once it's connected, you can do a bunch of stuff. Also on a side note, I use a Chromebook. Ah, boo, I know. But I use a Pixelbook Go, so it's, it's a good Chromebook. You can download and use the RoboSun app on your Chromebook because it runs Android. So I find the block programming a lot easier to use on a laptop because you have a nice bigger screen, especially on a tablet too. On a 6.4 inch smartphone display, it's a little small for my taste, but at least I can use it on the Chromebook and I really like that. You can also access the voice commands as buttons in the app if you don't want to speak to him. So there are some commands that require you to use the uh, included weaponry. So the app asks you to take them off when you do this, but like, why? Because you kind of need, like if I click engage, it's gonna tell me to remove the items from his hand. I don't understand why, but all right, whatever. Well, we'll do that. See, that's pretty cool. The, the, the music and the servo sounds really drown out Peter Cullen, I will say. There are times when you just can't hear what he's saying. It's a little bit harder to hear him in person than on camera because camera does like some filtering and stuff. But that is one of my little gripes about the sound system. All right, just a little side note about the app for those using Android 13. There's a little bit of a Bluetooth bug where it'll constantly just be trying to connect and it won't. So I find the best thing to do is just close the app Go to your Bluetooth, turn it off, focus on the phone, turn it back on again, and then go back into the RoboSun app. Wait for it to do its thing. He's doing a hero pose, he's dabbing. But now you should just be able to connect it. That's not a problem with the robot as it wasn't a problem until I updated to Android 13. Connection complete. There we go. I just think it's just an incompatibility with the app right now, but at least there's a workaround to get it to work. So I'm actually gonna kneel down for this. So in the app, get out of the way. In the app, there are a bunch of different things you can do. You can create, you can do missions, you can remote control actions. This is what I'm gonna show you right now. These are the actions. So you can do things in here if you don't wanna to speak to him. For example, you don't wanna go, hey Optimus Prime, you're a pleb. He won't respond because the app's connected. But you can do things such as, he comes standard with push-ups. So we'll watch him do some push-ups. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll do hero pose. Hero pose is one of my favorites. I don't know if you heard that, but he actually does punch the floor. Like you hear it go when it hits the ground. It's quite funny. Uh, let's do engage. But this is where my favorite part of the whole package comes from. The app allows you to build your own custom commands. You can program it. There's block programming similar to the old Lego Mindstorm programming software, or you can use actual coding. So you can program it if you have the knowledge and the skills to do so. I don't, I, I took two years of computer systems and completely don't remember how to code, 
but block programming works just fine. You drag and drop the action section into place, then drop a limb if you want to move by however many degrees. You can also add loops. Now, the coolest part about this customization feature is you can save multiple different files onto the app and they don't take up a lot of space. You can also find other commands in the app. There's a section where you can download more. There's a bunch of different creations in here and I downloaded a lot of them. So the amount of stuff you can do, let's just take a look. So now we're gonna be doing the custom commands that I've downloaded from the download more actions section that I showed you earlier. So this is not, focus you stupid camera. This is not the default amount of commands you have. There's a lot less, but you can see there's like tiny little text ones so we'll do some workout ones and then we'll do some of the fighting ones because they're really cool. So I'm actually gonna turn him around for this. Let's do some squats. Now he's panting, that's really funny. And he struggles. That's pretty cool. We also have Mountaineering Run, which is one of my favorites. One of my other favorites is Ab Exercises. We might actually be off camera for this. Just the fact that he can keep his balance while getting up is awesome. Now we already saw push-ups and I think that's all the workout ones I have downloaded. Yes, it is. Actually, no, I have this one here. This one's the best. It's simply called lie down. That's literally all it does. He just, he, lie, he, he lies down. Come on, get up. I don't, I don't, I don't know why that's there, but hey, why not? It's funny. Okay, now let's do some of, God, the lighting in this room sucks. Let's do some of the fighting things. So we'll start with lightning boxing. So that was lightning boxing. Uh, it's just a bunch of punches. Let's do Kung Fu. He uses his headlights, I forgot about that. Now, I don't know a lot about Kung Fu to know what anything was called there or what he was doing, but it looked really cool. I'm not gonna pretend I know what anything is. But now we have Taekwondo. I'll move this back actually for this. Yes, that is him standing on one foot. Now, if you thought that was impressive, him, turn around you idiot standing on one foot, um, he can do a back kick. Would you like to see, let's just, that's not the right one. Let's just do the back kick. I don't know what that is. But isn't that so cool? He can do that.
That's probably my favorite thing he can do, is the fact that he can do a back kick and not fall over. Whoever made that, fantastic job. You can also check out more custom commands by going to their Facebook page through the app. I haven't actually tried that yet, but I, I assume that's how it works. Now, I tried my hand at this customization. Here is what all that looks like. It's a lot of blocks and movement, but this was requested by my friends, and I did it. The gritty. This is going to make one of my friends very upset because he said if I made Optimus Prime hit the gritty, he would probably come over here and break my nose. But this is the code for the gritty that I've done. Not exactly the most stable thing in the world because I'm still fine tweaking it. It's a lot easier to do on my laptop than it is on my phone, I find. But I'm going to actually stand behind him so that he doesn't fall over just in case. All right, gritty time. Oh. Yeah, he does. There you go. The app also has these little game-like challenges built into it where it makes you code something with a bit of help to teach you how the whole thing works 100%. It was really useful for me. And you get ranked at the end of each thing and the ranks are based on each country's fastest time. Also, what's deportation? All right, then. I also very much appreciate this thing's repackability. So it's very difficult to display this Optimus because when he's off, the servos aren't moving. So he'll flop around. He puts himself into a squat position when he's in robot mode and the truck just stays as a truck. But if you want to maybe store it in its case in a way, the piece of foam that holds the weapons in place on Prime has these little cutouts for the smokestacks. So you don't have to take them off because they're gonna be a pain to take off. You just put him in the box and they slot right over and it just fits. And that way you can transport it, you can store it. I very much appreciate that. I really like how you can just pack it away safely and not have to worry about it. I love this thing. It looks awesome. It sounds awesome. It just is awesome. It's literally the best Transformers thing I own because it's an actual Transformer. I can totally see this as a great way to get kids to learn coding in a fun way because you could teach them how to code Optimus Prime. like. What kid doesn't want to do that? <clears throat> or as an adult trying to learn coding, I can see this is a great way to entice yourself to code To It makes for a great learning tool. It reminds me of how schools had Mindstorms in them to teach us coding. It would be very similar to that. I feel like as an education standpoint, this is a great tool. It's expensive, but it's a great tool. It is 745 US dollars though but it's a walking, talking, friggin' Optimus Prime that can self-transform, has app controls, and when you have a piece of tech like that, it's going to be expensive. This costs the same retail price as my phone. <laughs> and yes, I think it's worth the asking price. The trailer also comes out soon, so there will be even more options to choose from with that thing's customization. I don't even know what they're gonna do with that, so I'm very excited to see. Again, it'll be linked below, so go check them out. Huge. Huge thank you to Robosen for shooting this my way. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, viewer, for staying this whole time and watching me geek out over a robot. That's It's just awesome. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.